the first red look lip red lip look oh I've done that so many times um, is going to be kept very very simple so um, it's just very clear and natural skin I've used the soap and glory show good face foundation this is in shade a good light and I've concealed my imperfections I've got dark circles at the moment um, with the Vichy Derma Blend foundation stick uh, it's actually a foundation but I use it as a concealer because it's ultra ultra correcting and then on my cheeks I've used a little bit of Burberry's light glow natural blush which I've broken the lid off oh, which looks like that so just a nice kind of pale tawny colour and um, highlighter I'm going to use Yves Saint Laurent's face highlighting palette this is limited edition for winter and I don't know if you can see that there, it's just got three stripes of very slightly different sparkly highlighters. So I'm just going to use my fingertips actually um, and just apply a little bit of that to the tops of the cheekbones and then just a little bit underneath. The eyebrow. Eyes I'm just going to keep very very simple, you can use any liner or anything that you want. I'm using this little um, pop ink outliner which is like a big felt tip pen. Um, just looks like this, so it's really really easy to use. And I'm just going to do a very simple line across the top lash line. And so that's it, just eyes, very, very simple, just one defining line, skin very clear, very fresh. Lips are going to be lined in a red lip liner, this one's by Gemma Kid Makeup School, and the lipstick as well is from Gemma Kid. Now the only reason I'm lining my lips first, because you know I don't normally really use a liner, is because I'm going to be using a colour that's quite bright and it's darker than my own lip colour and I think once you start to put it on it's really difficult to see where your own lip line ends so I'm doing it beforehand then I can just fill in like I'm colouring in with lipstick and it just makes it a bit easier and when I do the top lip I do the cupid's bow first I'm just tracing around my own lip line that's it just very simple and now that I've got that all traced out I'm going to use the um, Gemma Kid lipstick in scarlet it's got like a balm on one end like that and then it's got the lipstick on the other end it's a really nice bright red I tend not to go all the way into the corners because I do think that you can kind of get yourself into a bit of trouble so I do all of the top lip and then I just press my lips together very very carefully so you don't get it all over the outside of your lips um, and that does seem to work quite well for me so that's just my technique you can do what you like um, you can also use a lip brush which is a little bit more precise so that's it this is the first look just a simple definition on the eyes um, nice clean fresh looking skin and a gorgeous very bright red lip So for the next red lip look, um, I've done a slightly more intense eye, um, but it's still quite subtle. I've used these two shades from the Sue Devitt Icelandic Fjord palette. So I've used the gold all over the lid, and then the slightly darker um, khaki, metallic khaki colour, just in the socket, um, into the crease. And it's just defined the eye a little bit. I'm just popping some khaki coloured pencil underneath the eye. And again I'm going to line the lips and use a really very kind of bright red lipstick but this time I'm going to give it a little bit of a high shine on top. So it's quite high wattage. This is um, a liner from Le Metier de Beauté but you can't get that in the UK anymore. But those in the States can get this but again any red lip liner And this red lipstick is all for Eve, um, which is a quite special lipstick because it all goes to charity. I think they only actually do one, one lipstick, but it's a really nice red.
And then I've just added a little bit of gloss over the top. Now you can use whatever gloss you want. I wanted to use this Chanel one. It's shade 307, um, scintillating. I know, what was it called actually? Um, Glossimer, anyway, shade 307. Um, but I didn't want to get red all in my lovely gloss, so I've gone for something that I can squeeze out of a tube. This is Becca's Lip Plumping Moisture Gloss. And I've just taken the brush out and squeezed the gloss out and applied it with my fingertip, which I think is a little bit better if you're dealing with red it just gets into everything. So that's this look, um, slightly more intense eyes and then a nice glossy pout. I've had my makeup on all day so I thought it'd be quite a good time to do my day into evening red lip look which is a very smoky eye and just a bit of a red lip stain. Just looking at my new kitten who's very very cutely fast asleep. He's going to be in a video very soon, I promise. Um, so yes, I'm using this YSL uh, bronze black eyeliner, which is in a little pot like this. And you might remember my video from not so long ago where I used the navy blue version. And a lot of people wanted to know how I used it and smoked it out. So I'll show you how I did that today, but with a different shade. To put on the liner, I'm using MAC 266. It's a little travel edition one. I'm just loading the brush up with a bit of eyeliner, gorgeous creamy texture, and I'm going to take that just along the lash line. As you can see it's really really intense and immediately I'm going to take this old little, where's it gone, old little brush from Ruby and Millie at Boots and I'm just going to smoke it out. and it does that so so easily and obviously you can layer it up the more product that you use the more you can get a darker effect I suppose this makes sense and I'm taking it out towards the eyebrow just to kind of elongate the eye and make it a little bit cat's eye and then I'm using whatever products on this brush now just to buff it into the eyelid so as I said, the more product that you use along the lash line, the more you've got to play with. But once it's set, it really sets quite firmly. So that's that then. You have to use it quite fast. So just really, really easy to use. And I'm going to take a little bit underneath um, the eye as well. And I've got a smaller brush to smoke that out with. So just a very, very simple smoky eye. One product kind of has two purposes really. Very easy to do. And then the stain, I'm going to use Gemma Kids Makeup School um, lipstick in Scarlet, shade number four. And it's got the balm on one end and the lipstick on the other end. I'm just going to pat this on over the balm. And then use my fingertip to blend it in. So it's just a very faint berry stain and I think it works really nice with a strong eye. I mean normally I do quite a nude lip but this is how to wear red lipstick so it's red um, and I think this kind of look would suit any colouring really. So I hope that's been quite helpful. It can often be quite scary wearing brighter colours if you're used to only wearing nudes. So that's just three kind of easy ways to wear red, really, for the Christmas season or holiday season, depending on where you are in the world. So I shall see you in the next video.